I'm Dilly Dutton. I got some Japanese art supplies as a Christmas present from a friend, and this is my second episode using them. Make sure to check out the first one too, where I designed some crayon sentai. Today I'm going to use the jewel washi tape, specifically the pearl ones to decorate my Dungeons and Dragons character, Ondine. She's got a pearl studded denim jacket as her armor which is just a reskinned studded leather armor for the aesthetics. She is a warlock of the undead and an Asmar. I'm very glad the pencil is showing up nicely on video. I could see it fine, but the graphite shine makes it a lot easier to see on camera. I've been wanting to do some paper craft art, so after I sketched out a basic pose, I'm going to trace it onto these neat tracing paper sticky notes, and then use those as a guide to cut out the paper. I did try to see if I could use a light box to do this, but both this black sketchbook paper and the paper I'm cutting up is like cardstock, so it's too thick for the light to shine through. No worries, I made it work. The stickiness of the tracing paper notes was useful because it didn't move as much when I cut out the templates, but I think it would be nice to do this with bigger pieces of tracing paper. This was such a brain exercise. I thought at first that it would work best if I just cut along the borders of each section of color and then glue them down next to each other. But as I worked on it, making the piece a little bigger and then placing it under a layered item looked a lot better. Of course, that means uh, that I also had to think about which one should be the top layer and which one should be the bottom, like a puzzle. It's been a bit since the last time I've drawn on Dean. I painted her in a fancy outfit for a ball a little over a year ago. You should check out that one too. On Dean is a cute pirate in the crew of a lich captain who rescued her for unknown reasons from a shipwreck when she was very small. She's also an angelic Asimar with some rage issues tied up with a god tear. She's a bit feral, but has her heart in the right place. Mostly. Oh, and according to her, she's a princess. This started as a lie, but she figures it might as well be true. Like how there are some Disney princesses that are just there for the marketing and aren't princesses at all. I added a little bit of details with ink and Posca. I tried not to add a lot of details because the paper craft part of it looked pretty cool as is. I 
I also added the pearls to her jacket. Her jacket is supposed to have a sort of ocean wave and skull and crossbones motif for the pearls, but that would basically require cutting each individual pearl off of the tape and then placing them individually, and that kind of defeats the purpose of the tape. And anyway, the tape's wavy pattern is cute, and simplifying the design definitely works with this style. Last thing I ended up doing was coloring a sort of dark aura around her to go with the magic in her hand. It's mostly there to cover up glue smudges. Sometimes making a mess works out, because I think it looks neat. I think I'd like to do more paper craft stuff like this. It turned out really neat. It's kind of an extension of using washi tape or origami paper to color block clothes and such, and that's always good fun. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe to continue on this art journey with me. Bye!